Hello all and welcome back to another Black Desert video. So for today we're going to be talking about the Guaranteed Pen Quest or the Old Moon Guild Best Deal Quest from the NPC Jatina. Now some of the people that I play with are still confused so my goal for this video is to break it down and do it step by step with you so that you could see how the actual process is. Step 1 is fairly easy and that is having the gear that you want to exchange and upgrade for the pen in your inventory. And the good thing about this one is that if you've played the previous seasons, then you could use the ones that you've converted for this quest. And also don't worry if you haven't gotten any pen tool or weapons yet or armors or if you haven't um, played any of the seasons before, then you could purchase a tet, just a reminder, a tet, weapon or armor and you can exchange that to Jatina as well. Step number two is going to Jatina on any of the major cities, going to the main quest and exchanging those weapons into the non-tradable gear. Now you would see over here that for the ones that I've gotten from the previous season it would have a season tag and the ones that I still have at Tuvola gear I can exchange it directly with Jatina without going to Tron and Underfoe. And also a note for newer players, make sure you pay attention to what gear you're selecting when you're claiming these. As for example, the armor, there is a red nose and a dim tree. And currently a red nose is the one that is used because of the lower Kafir's requirement to be converted into a fallen god armor later on if that is one of your goals. And also for the gear such as like the boots and the gloves, there is an evasion and a DR um, equipment and that is for like for example muskens and levers versus the organs and the bags so make sure that if you know if you're going for an evasion character do evasion and if you think your character wants more dr then you know go for the dr equipment so that is a different topic on itself but it's a good thing to know for beginners Step 3 is kind of just like a reminder too and that is to open up the boxes that you exchange for the weapons on the character that you would want to use it. So you can see over here that I used a shield for the guardian and then an awakening weapon for the DK. But both of them were converted into these weapon boxes so be careful on that. So now that you have these weapons and armors that are not tradable, you would see that they have this line over here in the middle that says reform level. And what you need here are the reform stones. So step four is preparing for the materials to get those reform stones. So to further understand this and keep it simple, let's go to the main site where they posted an infographic for this. Now you would see at base you would need certain materials to go to level 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then finally for 5 which is gonna be for the pen boss gear. So to get more familiar with this one, I have on my screen the ones that are needed for level 1. Now as you can see, we need memory fragments and one of the best thing to get this from is from the Ancient Relic Crystal Shard which you get from AFK Fishing or Actively Fishing and then also from the Scroll of Written Language which is plentiful in the Valencia zones. Now, these are tempting to sell as I mentioned before in my previous video on what to keep. I would suggest that you keep this mainly because it chains to the Hunter Seals. Now for the Hunter Seals, you can exchange these for hearts and sharp crystals so that it's much easier for you to you know, get these requirements as, as it goes up, it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40 and finally 50 for the level 5 and then it also can be exchanged for the blackstone armor and weapons which is basically free if you just run your scrolls do your bosses gets the hunter seals and you don't have to pay for it now the next ones are the hardest and the easiest ones to get but let's go with the easy one first and that is the concentrated crystals you get these ones by exchanging two latent auras to npc jatina weekly for 115 of these ones so if you want to accumulate these ones easily you can just do that or you can also 
go and fight the world boss and they will drop five of these ones currently the ones that i've tested so far all of them were five and i don't know like if they would drop more um but for the other ones you would have to go and defeat them via the dark rifts so you would get those ones that you need and then the other one is the black magic crystals that is converted into the magical shards so the problem with this one currently is that if you look into the market all of them are sold out and all of them are at max price so how do you get this by going to the item drops and looking for the areas that drop these magic crystal and grinding there now that we got the basics down the only thing that would change is the quantity of the items and the opal stones that you would use per level so for level one it's rough second is polished third is brilliant and for the fort is the moonlit one and then after that one you would be required to buy this opila piece of the old moon at a certain quantity so for weapons you would be getting 30 for the first one the second one would be 70 and then 120 for the armors it's gonna be 80 120 160 and 220 so these are the ones that kind of like drives the prices up per level that's why you see there's talks of oh it's going to increase or is it worth it in terms of price and that is it and then also for the last level just a reminder that you would need to have um the boss weapon arm um, armor or weapon at pry duo or try in order for you to get the concentrated boss aura which is go going to be um you know a process so you will do simple alchemy on these ones and you would get that so currently for me like i haven't yet because like i haven't have all of the materials yet i'll be saving it for a later video once i do get to that one and then for now what we're gonna do is we're gonna process level one so you would see how we would apply it to the weapon that I currently have. So there we have it. Now we have the sub weapon reform stones that I'm going to use for my garden scutum. And what you just need to do is repeat this for the other items using the same items but different quantities or, or more in, in terms of quantity and use the opal stones that corresponds to that level and then later on you know um once we get all of the materials we'll be covering it but that's basically it and all you have to do now is right click it and then talk to you know your black spirit which is this cute blob over here and click on your tetkudum that is the one that you got from jatina apply it and then just reform. And there we have it. So Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot her name, but she's walking in the background. Is this something new? that's cool i think like she appears once you do the reform i'm not entirely sure if she's gonna pass through this wall oh no she's actually walking down here oh she's gone now okay so i think that's one cool special effect um that like was added <laughs> for here and you would see now that the reform level is one and then our weapon has increased a stat so so guys i hope that has helped you out understand the process more and i wish you good luck on your pen enhancements through the item reforms and i'm ending with the blinding lights of vela and if you have found this video helpful i hope that you will click on the subscribe and like and as always thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys on the next video